Yo, Sean, what's good, buddy? What's up, man? You good? Yeah, I'm good, dog. I'm just chilling, man. Cool, man. Good to hear your voice. Well, I was just calling you. I know we sent out a promo box of watches. You should be seeing that in a couple days. Okay, word. Dude, I, I need that. It's great. I'll look out for that. Everything else good with you? Yeah, all is well, man. Just uh, on the grind. You have a blessed day, brother. All uh, right, thank you, man. Peace. All right, fam. My name is Ben Baller, and you probably recognize me pushing fancy whips, stunting in the nightclubs, or sitting course at the Laker games. But the rest of the world knows me as the jeweler to the stars, Ben Ball. So I'm heading up to go see Anna Milanakis. I haven't seen him in a while. People think he's like fucking 14, you know what I mean? But really, he's, I think he's 57. The crazy thing is I just saw a picture of him the other day, and he looks like Roseanne Barr meets Chunk from the Goonies, dude. Looks fucking crazy. Five. And this is a boar? I don't know. Upside down cock. Looks like my grandma's mouth. Where are you taking me, dude? We're we going to, um... We're going to the roof of the Hollywood Tower. What the fuck is this one? Is this the... This is like the Rorschach gems. You know, you, you see like a butterfly sucking a moose dick. Um, or you could just see your childhood dreams in there. It just... It's all This reminds me of the fucking... Really want the chocolate factory secret door. I want a feast. I want a bean feast. <laughs> Maniac. Welcome to our world of toys. Old school Hollywood Tower is where we get drunk, slap bitches up. You ever been up here? Yeah, dude, when I fucked your mom. Oh, she didn't tell me that. This is sick, dude. Yo, check this out, though. We got a kumquat tree. There's something so natural about picking something off a tree and actually getting to eat it. I just get hella high up here and just eat kumquats. This shit is fucking nasty as fuck, dude. Fucking bitch. Oh. Fuck your diamond supply. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Can I call you kumquat? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Yo, you get really drunk up here and just try to fucking hit cars. I think I just hit that car. Right, I got a question, dude. Like, I just want you to be honest. How many men have you slept with, dude? Um, including you? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> you know you I mean? crazy Asian. So what you got going on today? You going to like Justin Bieber Sweet 16 or something? I'm actually gonna head downtown to uh, Goody Mob. They're doing a video. They're coming back. So Goody Mob. CeeLo, yeah, Yo. You know, head down there and do that. And then um, I'm gonna go to fucking Victoria's Secret and get you a fucking bra. You, you fucking I am gonna fuck your bitch. Hey, I'm gonna <laughs> fuck the shit out of your bitch. Hi, right, It's good to see you, man. Yeah, you too, man. Uh, hey, dude. Come fuck in the hoodie, come fuck in the hoodie. And stay out. Just left Annie Milanakis. Dude, he's a fucking maniac, man. That kid is, he's funny. I'm gonna really kick his ass when I see him next time. I'm heading to go see my boys, the Goody Mob, right now. Fucking CeeLo and Big Gip, those are my boys. They reunited, got back together. I guess this is their first coming back video that they're shooting in downtown Los Angeles right now. I'm gonna go show support, you know what I'm saying? Show some love, man. Another day in the life of Mr. Benjamin Baller. Look at Gip. Look at Fly. Yeah, let me see what you're doing, man. Look That's a, a $50,000 alligator jacket, man. <laughs> Just so you guys understand, this is BMW M3 on him. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this. Come on, I'm gonna go get the hump off about your bag now. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going to see you guys perform with the Fuji when they were selling 20 million records. Mm -hmm. And when you guys did, Who's that people through my window? Wow, I was like a live band, it was crazy. So you know I've always been a fan, so I just want to let people know that you guys are coming back and everyone's talking about it, it's buzzing. We're gonna do an old, old location edition. We'll do that, come on man. I have Floyd Mayweather coming my story. He went crazy and that motherfucker trying to buy the whole shit. Almost put, <laughs> almost put us out of business, what's up? That thing we was talking about earlier today, doing the grills, so we're gonna bring them shits back. We do that. I want to do that. I did what you like. If we can pull it off, I remember you know, playing the defense. Yeah, no, let's let's take this downstairs. Where are we going? I don't know. Me and Flair over there, crook. Oh, you did? Yeah. Before you leave, I just wanted to do it today. Damn, what the fuck? We really in the dungeon for real? Before they before they turn the corner, 
so I'm like, what's next? I know everybody's even me, like, just rocking smaller pieces. The smaller pieces, the chains is what we call them. One thing that's coming back real heavy right now, the curb, the Turkish links, the Cuban bracelets. Obviously, gold is huge. The costume shit will eventually die out because everyone's neck is turning green and all this shit is is for real though. Public people, yeah. listen to me. Those are ladies' belts. The niggas is right. wearing around their necks. Eighty-five year old women who go to Palm Springs for vacation. That's what kind of shit it's they cool. wearing. No, no, they tripping. I'm interviewing you, you, man. Like, so I know your history dates back. Way, yeah, way, you know. way, way back. How did you get into the, the fashion and jewelry? Like, don't you right. find empathy for those who don't who don't have it? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, bad for it was just like naturally unfashionable. It's just like yeah, a sad thing. It is sad. We're ready. We're ready. Yeah, yeah. It's difficult. Sleep. He gives zero fucks. He don't care about no fame, no celebrity, no money making. So tomorrow, I gotta get up with CeeLo. Talking about he wants to do a couple things. I'm not gonna stress him about it. Great day, great night, tomorrow. So yesterday, I was with Andy and Goody Mob. This morning, I got a promo package from Neff. Instead of giving them out to celebrities, I decided to come here to Homeboy Industries and check out their operation. I'm gonna bless five lucky people here who've been putting in, you know, a lot of work and give them these watches. Hey, what's up, homeboy? What's up, bro? Welcome to Homeboy. Oh, yeah, thank All you, right. man. I appreciate it, bro. Well, we'll start off in the tour over here on this side. Okay. This whole thing with Homeboy's industry is just amazing. You got kids here, you got gangsters coming here. You can do community service, outreach, tattoo removal. They got counseling, good people helping other good people out. They give them a second chance in life. So these are our junior staff members here. Um, they work in various departments. Their main thing here is to work on themselves, to, to get to work on that change in their life. What I do for a living is I'm a celebrity jeweler. You know, I make jewelry for a lot of famous people. And uh, I have a watch coming out. But most of my promo goes to celebrities so that when someone sees Justin Bieber wearing my watch, a lot of kids are like, oh, I see that Justin, that, that watch that Ben Baller got. Man, I want one too. And today, I got some watches to gift out to some, to some celebrities. And I said, I need to go to Homeboy. I want to give five people some watches. You know, time is money. and. You know, it's always good to see this at time. What's your name? Haley. Haley? Okay, we're here. Thank There's you. There's one for you. What's your name? Jose. Jose. Here you go. Thank you. Lanisha, here you go. What's your name? Tyrone. Tyrone, man. Here you go. Thank you. And I couldn't forget about you, bro. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hey, sure, man. Yeah. God bless you. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you. You know, something about me, you know, I got caught up in gang shit when I was young. I got kicked out of nine schools in three years. There's never been a good story or a good ending for someone who's hustling and doing bad in the streets. Even if it's 2%, 3%, I just want to be better every day. Well, on behalf of Homeboy Industries, we thank you, man. Oh, thank man, you. thank you, guys. You know, it's not a lot of people that give back, man, once they get successful in the game and he understand where he came from, and that's a blessing. I'm just happy that the sign minds gave me one, and I appreciate it, man, and thanks for coming out, man. We got these badass watches. It's good, you know, they're giving back to the community, acknowledging us that we can't change. He made a difference in his life as well, bringing smiles to people's faces. Today was an amazing day, man. Out of everything I think I've done in regards to this show, Today kind of fucked me up. We came here to Homeboy Industries. This is the real deal. Thank you to everyone at Homeboy Industries, man. That's it.